how to drive a KZ. Well, my first tip is uh, usually the most people in the KZ2 or KZ1. They go in the corner too hard, so they lose in the, in the exit. So what I usually do is brake very hard in the beginning. Leave the brake a little bit. Um, also, when you have your feet support, you press your whole body into the chassis and then go back with lots of RPM. Usually 15.5, 15.6, more than enough. So you have lots of fuel for the exit. The fast corners, most of the time they're not full throttle, but uh, you can loosen a little bit throttle because sliding means uh, time loss. After, if you go into a chicane or something, it's uh, always everything with a KZ that was about the exit. If you go in the corner, you have to drive very careful, always one meter. You, it's the best to break one meter early than one meter late because you miss five meters in the exit. If you go on the straight, um, it's always good to go down, but if you're tall like me, it's, uh, it's the wrong way because if we, I only can go forward and I'm stuck behind the steering wheel, so I always lean backwards to make me like more out of the wind. And uh, so you never see me ducking behind the steering wheel. Most people think I'm lazy, but for me it's faster. Wow, dynamic. If you go in a low gear, the RPM design, the chassis is very uncomfortable to drive. Especially if you try to overtake somebody, you go usually one gear more back than usual, than your usual corner. Because you brake later and you still have to stop the chassis and not take each other out. So you have to brake very hard and also use the engine. So if you have a second gear corner, a hairpin or something like the first corner, in Genk, it's uh, very hard to overtake there because many people they miss the first corner then. So you go the first gear and then cut it around and then you go again a short shift to second. Because if you keep it in second, I can assure you it's you are below RPM, out of the power band, and well you lose more positions than you want to take. You have to short shift after and then try to uh, well, get as straight as possible out of the corner because the straight line is always faster than the curved line. If you have a combination of several corners after each other, it's uh, usually the less drivers have a problem in the last two corners. If you have three corners, the first one is very fast, the second one is slower, and the third one is also slower. And it's a lot of time is good to take the first corner a little bit less to make the other two much better. And again work on the exit of the last corner because after every corner it's always a big straight and if you have a long a long straight after the corner well in the corner you maybe can win gain one tenth on your opponent but if you have a less exit you lose two three tenths on your opponent who's slower in that corner so it's not always about corner speed it's you most of the time about corner exit speed that you gain at the straight